Hi, so let's talk about what is the difference between the Luma mat, Alpha mat, and masks. But before that, you need to know what is the Alpha channel, so I advise you to go back and check my previous lesson about that. Now, mat is also known as a track mat. It is a separate layer that, through its values, defines the area of the transparency in the shot. Let me show how mats are used in action and provide some examples so it would be easier for you to understand. In After Effects, mats are placed as a separate layers above the original layer, which you want to apply the transparency for. Then, under the track mat option, you have to select either alpha or luma mat. What it does, it applies the mats transparency information onto original shot in order to extract the assigned area. Now we can place anything behind the girl. We can bring back the background and insert the smoke in between and make an illusion as if it is behind the girl. From the side it would look like this. First we have our shot, then on top we put our mat. We use the values from this mat to cut out the part that we need from our original shot. Then we bring back background from the original shot and place it behind the girl. And in between those two layers we place a smoke effect. So that's how the mats are used by the compositor. Now to make it even more clear for you, let's see what is the difference between an alpha mat and luma mat. Also how to distinguish them and use them. Both define the area of transparency. However, that transparency information is applied from the different channels and different values. In LumaMed, the transparency is taken from the RGB channel by using the luminous information from the image. In AlphaMed, from the built-in alpha channel. Now, LumaMed doesn't need to have an alpha channel as its luminous information is stored directly in the RGB channel. So if image contains an alpha channel, only then it can be used as an alpha mat. Now, if we check an alpha mat that we have here, isolate it and check an alpha channel, you will see that it does contain an alpha channel inside the image. So if we use it as a alpha mat, it will cut out the image by using that alpha channel. Now if we check another example, this image of myself and isolate this shot, we will see that there's no alpha channel, everything is white, therefore everything will be visible. So if you use it as an alpha mat, nothing will happen, it will simply reveal the image beneath it. The same effect as not using it at all. So in short, only the image that contains an alpha channel can be used as an alpha mat. Now, any image contains a luminance information, basically a dark and light areas in the shot. So any image can be used as a luma mat. Now let's check this image against the original shot and use it as a luma mat. You will see that anything that is bright in the luma mat will reveal the original shot. So as you can see, my shirt is white and it reveals anything behind. The black areas hides it. This is not the right way to use the luma mat unless you want to achieve a specific effect. The real way to use it is to have a prepared image with the luminous information in the RGB channel that can be used as a luma mat correctly and as you can see it cuts out the image well. I hope it became more clear. Now that you know what is the alpha and luma mats, you can create your own using the shapes and effects. For example, you can create any shape on the layer and as long as it has an alpha channel, you can apply it as an alpha mat. And the color doesn't matter as long as there is an alpha channel. Or you can create a black and white shapes or ramp effect with a luminance and use those layers as luma mats. And by playing with brightness, you can affect the strength of transparency in the luma mat. Now let's talk about the difference between mask and matte and how are they related. Now both mask and matte, they define the area of transparency. As we know, matte defines it through its values like an alpha channel or luma information. A mask achieves it through the drawn path by using a pen tool or Bezier node. In After Effects, by selecting the pen tool, we can draw an area that we want to be included in the shot. Once we connect the dots, everything beyond the traced path becomes transparent. This isolated area that we have created is known as mask. Another difference between them is that the mat has to be used as a separate layer, when mask is directly drawn on the layer of the image. This is the original shot. As you can see, the mat is on another layer. Only then it can be used as a mat. With mask, you simply choose the layer, select the pen tool, and draw directly on the layer. A mask is used in the rotoscoping technique in order to isolate the object from the background then to be rendered as a luma mat through the alpha channel. This rendered mat is then used by the compositor onto original shot in order to isolate this object again. Or instead of the luma mat, you can receive a file with an alpha channel already with the transparency included. Thank you for your patience. In the next lesson, we're going to talk about rotoscoping by masking out the object from the background. So see you soon.